Hi, I'm Michelle, a prevention educator with the Women's Center of Greater Danbury, and today I want to talk to you about conflict resolution. During the pandemic, we're spending an awful lot of time together, and it's not always easy to get along. So I wanted to give you a tool that would help you communicate how you're feeling without making the other person feel bad. It's called nonviolent communication, or another term you might have heard of is speaking from the eye. And this is where you let the other person know what's going on for you without making them feel defensive. Now there are three parts to this. The first one is explaining how you feel. So it's important to understand exactly what's going on for you. Are you feeling angry? Are you feeling hurt? Are you feeling frustrated? And then once you can identify your feelings, you can say something like, I feel blank. So that's part number one. Part number two is explaining why you feel that way. What happened that brought that feeling about? So part two would go something like this. Part one is, I feel, let's say frustrated. And then part two, when you come into my room without knocking. And then part three would be what you would want to have happen differently. So next time that person understands what you want and can respond to that. So part one, I feel frustrated. Part two, when you come in my room without knocking. And part three, next time, I'd like you to knock first. And that's it. It's that simple. So it doesn't make the other person feel like fighting back or arguing with you. You can just say, I feel blank when this happens. And here's what I'd like differently next time. Nonviolent communication came about in the 1960s when Marshall Rosenberg, who's a clinical psychologist, came up with a way for people to explain their situation without making the other party feel bad or defensive. It's been used in the UN, it's been used to help solve um, problems in war-torn countries. So if it can work for the UN, it can work for you. Now, talking this way is not easy. It definitely takes some practice. So you'll want to try, you know, a few times and see how it works for you. You're not going to get it right all the time. But the idea is that the more you do it, the easier it becomes. And speaking this way, speaking from the eye, or using nonviolent communication is a really good way to create harmony and peace in your relationships with your siblings, with your parents, other family members, and also your friends, even kids online, right? So no matter who you're interacting with, speaking from the eye is the best way to get your feelings known, to have your needs met, and to have the other person respond in a positive way. So keep on practicing speaking from the eye. And those of us here at the Women's Center are here for you. If you want to practice with us, you can certainly be in touch. We'd love to go through that with you. And we wish you well during this time of getting back to school and learning new things, including how to speak up for yourself and get your needs met in a positive way. Be well.